Questions and answers are based on Chapter 7 of the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Topic, Smoking. Choose the best answer. What is the temperature range typically associated with cold smoking? A. 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. B. 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. C. 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. D. Below 10 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature range typically associated with cold smoking? C. 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. How can cold smoked fish be preserved and made less perishable? A. By heavily salting them. B. By keeping them at high temperatures. C. By using liquid smoke. D. By storing them in sealed containers. How can cold smoked fish be preserved and made less perishable? A. By heavily salting them. Which compounds contribute to the typical flavor of cold smoked products? A. Guayacol, maltol, phenol, and m cresol B. Polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons C. Furan derivatives D. Carcinogenic substances Which compounds contribute to the typical flavor of cold smoked products? A. Guayacol, maltol, phenol, and m cresol which fish species is locally used to produce cold smoked products similar to smoked salmon? A. Spanish mackerel B. Atlantic salmon C. Tuna D. Sardines Which fish species is locally used to produce cold smoked products similar to smoked salmon? A. Spanish mackerel what is the difference between cold smoking and hot smoking? A. The use of liquid smoke in cold smoking. B. The temperature range used for smoking. C. The type of wood used for smoking. D. The length of smoking time required. What is the main difference between cold smoking and hot smoking? B. The temperature range range used for smoking. What is liquid smoke? A. A liquid produced by burning particular types of hardwood. B. A liquid used to absorb smoke and then concentrate it. C. A liquid used to preserve smoked products. D. A liquid with added flavorings for smoking. What is liquid smoke? B. A liquid used to absorb smoke and then concentrate it. How does liquid smoke compare to traditional smoking methods? A. It is more time-consuming and complex. B. It is easier and faster to use. C. It produces a stronger smoky flavor. D. It requires a complicated process. How does liquid smoke compare to traditional smoking methods? B. It is easier and faster to use. What problem does the use of liquid smoke help eliminate? A. Emission of tars and resins during smoking. B. Excessive heat during smoking. C. Difficulty in controlling the smoky flavor. D. Lack of color in smoked products. What problem does the use of liquid smoke help eliminate? A. Emission of tars and resins during smoking. How can liquid smoke be applied to a product? A. By direct consumption. B. By surface application, such as sweating, dipping, spraying, and atomization. C. By mixing it with other liquids before smoking. D. By diluting it with water, 
and using it as a marinade. How can liquid smoke be applied to a product? B. By surface application, such as sweating, dipping, spraying, and atomization. What is atomization in the context of liquid smoke? A. The process of converting liquid smoke into a solid form. B. The process of evaporating liquid smoke to create true smoke in the smokehouse. C. The process of filtering liquid smoke to remove impurities. D. The process of diluting liquid smoke with water for application. What is atomization in the context of liquid smoke? B. The process of evaporating liquid smoke to create true smoke in the smokehouse. In what forms are smoke flavorings available? A. Aqueous medium, oil medium, and dry powder form. B. Liquid form and solid form. C. Liquid form only. D. Dry powder form only. In what forms are smoke flavorings available? A. Aqueous medium, oil medium, and dry powder form. What is a limitation of liquid smoking? A. Difficulty in duplicating the flavor and color of traditionally smoked products. B. Higher cost compared to traditional smoking methods. C. Limited availability in the market. D. Inability to penetrate the product surface effectively. What is a limitation of liquid smoking? A. Difficulty in duplicating the flavor and color of traditionally smoked products. How are the tars, resins, and organic chemicals removed from liquid smoke during the manufacturing process? A. Through burning and filtration. B. Through aging and filtration. C. Through evaporation and cooling. D. Through chemical treatment and purification. How are the tars, resins, and organic chemicals removed from liquid smoke during the manufacturing process? B. Through aging and filtration. What is the primary characteristic of electrostatic smoking? A. Smoke particles acquire an electrical charge by passing through a high voltage field. B. Smoke particles acquire a neutral charge by passing through a high voltage field. C. Product is given a positive charge. D. Product is given a neutral charge. What is the primary characteristic of electrostatic smoking? A. Smoke particles acquire an electrical charge by passing through a high voltage field. What is the main advantage of electrostatic smoking? A. Rapid smoking process. B. Enhanced flavor absorption. C. Reduced smoke particle deposition. D. Elimination of high voltage hazards. What is the main advantage of electrostatic smoking? A. Rapid smoking process. What is one potential hazard associated with electrostatic smoking? A. Smoke particle deposition on the product. B. An even distribution of smoke flavor. C. Product contamination by electrical charges. D. Hazards to plant staff due to high voltage. What is one potential hazard associated with electrostatic smoking? D. Hazards to plant staff due to high voltage. What factors determine the size of a smokehouse in the Philippines? 
A. The type of wood used for smoking. B. The availability of electrical charges. C. The projected production volume of the processor. D. The desired flavor profile of the smoke products. What factors determine the size of a smokehouse in the Philippines? C. The projected production volume of the processor. What is the characteristic feature of a clay pot smokehouse? A. It has a fire built inside the container. B. It utilizes bamboo sticks for smoking. C. It measures approximately 135 centimeters by 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters. D. It is made entirely of concrete. What is the characteristic feature of a clay pot smokehouse? A. It has a fire built inside the container. How is a drum type smokehouse constructed? A. It is made from a standard 44 gallon drum with its top end removed. B. It consists of a concrete framework and a metal chamber for the smoking tray. C. Drums are cut into halves and embedded in clay or concrete frames. D. It is made entirely of concrete with a series of wood mesh trays. How is a drum type smokehouse constructed? A. It is made from a standard 44 gallon drum with its top end removed. How is the fire? lit in the concrete type with a metal chamber for the smoking tray smokehouse. A. Through the back of the framework. B. Inside the clay container. C. Near the bottom hole of the drum. D. Near the ladder of the smokehouse. How is the fire lit in the concrete type with a metal chamber for the smoking tray smokehouse? A. Through the back of the framework.